Okay, guys, another one I'm doing before coffee again. Joy. Um, I had this dream last night, and before I start this, some of you might not like the dream. It might be, like, too sensitive subject for you. And I also want to say I don't want any male viewers trying this. Do not get the bright idea in your head that Loki gave me the stream because it's some sort of sign and you should go out and do this. Alright? Okay, because I don't want you in the emergency ward. Um... I had a dream, and at first in the dream, I was seeing, um, and this is going to sound funny, but it was not being done, like, funny in any any sense at all. It was, like, very solemn dream. First, I was seeing, I was, like, being given cookies, like, round cookies, you know, those round cookies that have, I think they're from Girl Scouts, actually, and they have, um, stripes of chocolate on them. And I'm thinking, okay. And then I was being shown a, um absolutely black room like total darkness in the room at least and there was a tetherball set up and there was kind of like a spotlight from far above or like some kind of light source on the tetherball and it was like you know the silver metal pole and it had the um white ball attached to it and it had the these red stripes so th the stripes again and at first i thought they were stripes and then i realized it was blood and he's like there there was blood everywhere and there was like suffering and isolation and pain and why are people like you know why do people think it's one funny because there's nothing you know funny about the nature of a virtual sacrifice and two why why do they um I was getting the idea we're misinterpreting it. We're, mi we're missing the idea of the um, sacrifice. There's so much emphasis in modern paganism on the sacrifice of the goddess and, you know, with the maypole and everything, what it represents, that we're like, oh, well, males, males don't get hurt. And males most certainly do get hurt. You know, the story of Loki's sacrifice. And he's like, there, there's like so much you're missing is was not funny this wasn't amusing um it may have been done we're told to muse scotty but it you know it was not the nature of the pain and then you know basically the emasculation everything and the suffering it it wasn't you know to the god it's happening to it's certainly not funny and he's like why aren't people getting this why aren't people getting that the god sacrifices and goes through pain and uh, be emasculated in a sense if it's like for a higher good it kind of like why aren't people you know honoring this now that doesn't mean that male viewers go out and hurt themselves I mean the male the um maypoles are to honor the female sacrifice during the um season and nobody t uh, tells you, and they, if they are, don't do it to go out and hurt yourself if you're female. And, um, same thing too. This was not a call for men to hurt themselves, so please don't do anything. But this was the, you know, the male the god makes sacrifices too. Um, why, do, why don't people recognize this? Why do people have this image in their head and especially dangerous, well, especially dangerous for everybody? that males never can get hurt or suffer or sacrifice and this it's more a very willing intent sacrifice on the god's part because uh, you know what what he has to do but you know it, it can happen and it has happened and we've seen examples around the world of other gods who have been um either castrated or what have you and it's like it's a natural sacrifice of the male of the god that they'll sacrifice his potency at times and they'll be emasculated and it's for the betterment of their people i mean they're not just going to do it for nothing so um yeah i know that's a really uncomfortable subject for a lot of people and it was brought up in a solemn manner it was brought up in manner of a holy sacrifice it was not brought up in the manner of um isn't this a silly thing I did? It, it depends on what path you're dealing with. I was dealing with one of the more solemn paths. And he's like, no, it hurt. And there was blood and there was suffering. And I didn't just 
get up at the end. No god gets up at the end of that and just walks around and is absolutely fine. Um, no, there's like suffering and pain, and they're you know they're in utter misery as any male would be. So um, it was just one of those things. He came and shared with me, and you know the proper response is just to hold the god close and to you know be empathetic towards them because you understand the natural sacrifice and how alone they felt and you know and they they don't understand why humans aren't getting it and i'm sure there's like a big part on not getting myself because it's like the magnitude of the sacrifice and the indication that we've lost so much of the story that it was a lot more complicated than this that you know listeners at the time had they heard the same exact story they would have they would have got immediately what the sacrifice meant um that a god known for um his attributes would sacrifice before god is a winner this must have meant something to these people and it must have meant a lot more to the listeners than um we know maybe there was a ritual sacrifice be for the crops before the inner winter for the animals or something and i i don't get the sense involved male suffering but it would have been symbolic of the god so and since loki has other associations with crops and such uh you know the stealing assists here and then thor coming after him and such has been said to represent loki in a roundabout way helping with the um crops and what you need to do like you need to harvest and then you need to make sure the fields are fertile for the next year you don't just go in and harvest and not do anything for the fields so um kind of hope that helps someone i don't know why he, he he came to me with the the dream that he did and I, i'm i'm not sure exactly I know there's a lot of magnitude that I'm missing because I'm modern pagan and I'm just not getting it, but you could sense the suffering, you could sense the sorrow. And um, he doesn't always show us that. I mean, a lot of times, like, he will use a mask of, you know, laughing something off and, uh, or he won't talk about it. So, since he did, and I was like, is it okay if I make a recording? And he was like, he was fine with it. So, um, I thought I'd make a recording and, you know, take of it what you will. Um, there is a tradition of telling stories and letting people take what they will out of them. And I think that's best. So, um, yeah. And again, I don't want anyone thinking that was some call to sacrifice. That was not what the dream was about. It was just about, um, a natural desire of the God for people to reflect on the nature of the god's sacrifice that gods do suffer just because they're male and equipped you know as males uh does not mean that they don't suffer and that we shouldn't have compassion towards them so maybe that's it too um okay so if you liked what you see and i i know there are perhaps fainted male viewers out there um and i apologize gentlemen uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.